sorry. Okay, there we go. Uh, hey guys, this is, uh, I've been playing number three. Um, the video's being kind of choppy. I don't know if it's going to be like that when I actually process the video, but, um, this is the games that I've beaten and kind of what I think about them. Uh, the first one here is, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 from the, uh, HD collection. Um, this is a great game. Uh, I, I liked one better. I don't know if a lot of people think that way, but I did like one better. Uh, two is still fun. Um, a lot of people didn't like whenever you play as Raiden, which I don't think that's really a spoiler. Uh, but, like, I don't know. I didn't really have a problem with him. I actually liked playing as him. I mean, his flips were kind of girly and like he was in gymnastics or something, but, um, yeah, I really liked the game, though. The story's cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to play 3 in Peace Walker, and 4, I have all of those, so, yeah, so stay tuned for a later video, I may be talking about one of those, I haven't started 3 yet, but, anyways, here's the next one, I, uh, beat Jack and Daxter 1 from the HD collection, I actually got the Platinum, woot woot, uh, don't make fun of my woots, sorry. Uh, this is a this is a great game. I didn't play these back in the day on the PS2. I skipped a lot of good PS2 games back in the day, which is why I'm happy for these HD collections. I'm sorry, Slashers Elite, that you don't like them. I still love you though, bro. Uh, but yeah, I got the platinum. Um, it was really funny though because I got every single trophy and I was missing one little like egg thing. I forgot what they're called. Uh, but anyways, it was just out of my reach, so I'm like trying to jump up and get it for like an hour straight it seemed like just to get that platinum trophy but I finally got it uh, if you don't know what Jack is it's a platformer um, they have a really good dynamic between each other even though Jack doesn't talk at all on this one I heard I think he talks on two I haven't played it yet but uh, Daxter is really funny and uh, yeah has a decent story you know for a platformer um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. And I beat Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. That's gross, huh? But, uh, this is a, this is a really good game. Um, I do love the AC series. I know a lot of people don't like them because they think they're just kind of, you know, shovelware. They just, they're just shoved out every year or whatever. But, uh, I actually really liked it. Uh, Edward Kenway, he's a cool character. The story's great. Um, the, uh, the story has a cool twist to it that will surprise some people, and it's really cool. Uh, I, I hate the boats, though. Like, I despise driving these damn boats. Uh, at one point, I even, like, kind of cheated to get by a boat part, because you have to go into this little cove thing, and there's two, like, boats that will just rape you when you go in there. And, uh, yeah, so I parked my boat, like, a mile away or two miles away, and you know, game miles, and uh, I just swam right by the boats, and a cutscene initiated that showed me destroying the boats, which I never did, so, but, sorry, uh, I just don't like the boat parts. Uh, I know a lot of people do like the boat parts, which is why they kept sticking boats in here ever since Assassin's Creed 3, but I wish they'd get rid of them. But anyways, the pirate thing is pretty cool, aside from the boats, uh, but yeah, it's a great game. This is definitely the hardest Assassin's Creed, by the way. I don't know if it's just because of the boats or what, but this game's kind of hard. Uh, I almost gave up many times. Jacob Rocks 100, he kind of was making fun of me because he beat it before I did. Uh, the, the next game I beat was uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. This is the uh, PAL uh, Steelbook edition. But uh, this is a really good game. It's really, really linear, but... Uh, the old, the old uh, Castlevanias were linear too, you know, they were just kind of side-scrollers, but this is the first Castlevania game I've played since, like, the NES days, and I know Slasher's Elite, like, this is his, like, favorite series, and he, he really wanted me to play it, and I really wanted to try it, so I got it. Um, it's a great game, the story is really cool, it's like, got vampires and lichens and Frankensteins even in it, but, uh, it has the kind of gameplay kind of like uh, God of War, you know, the slashing and combos and stuff. But, uh, yeah, the, the only disappointing part was, 
I mean, the puzzles can get kind of tricky, but that's not the disappointing part. But uh, at the very end, the story just takes a turn that I'm just like, really? Like, it's one of those those turns where it just, I don't know, it just didn't appeal to me. If, if you played it, you might know why, and if you know me, you might know why. Don't ruin it in the comments if you do know why. But uh, it didn't appeal to me. Um, but my fiance, she watched all the cutscenes on uh, YouTube for this game, the DLC, and Mirror Fate, and then Beat 2. So she knew the story and everything, and she made me sit and wait through the credits to watch the next cutscene, which that cutscene kind of redeemed itself and brought my curiosity back and stuff and made me want to try the next game. So this collection came with Mirror Fate and the DLC, so I started playing the DLC. It's pretty cool too. It's like a the cutscenes are kind of like comic booky, kind of like Infamous, but uh, yeah, great game aside from the the story aspect that just does not appeal to me. But uh, yeah, that's the games I've beaten recently. I'm currently working on a Far Cry Classic back here. I'm gonna get that platinum. But uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully you enjoy the video. And I'll see you later.